Another box. This one's about to bust. What on earth are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm packing. Packing? What for? The superintendent can't do nothing without the board. Hmm. You were at that meeting last night. Nonsense. They tabled the vote and everything. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Rudy's had it out for me ever since I got here. Hmm. Now, Miss Washington, you know better than calling the super out his name. It's Dr. Ledbetter or hmm. Rudolph to his friends. Hmm. It could be sweet Jesus at this point. It don't make no difference. That suicide last week, that was the last straw. Trust me. Okay, okay, enough of that. Listen to me. You are the best principal this school has ever had, and I won't hear any different. Hmm. Whatever. You're paid to say that. Be that as it may, let me help you with that before you hurt yourself. No, I'm not gonna be able to find anything. You can't find nothing without me anyway. Now step aside and let me handle it. I should have fired you a long time ago. Love you too, Miss Cora. Uh, could you get that for me? It's probably some kind of reporter, and I am not in the mood. <laughs> that would be a scoop right there. Hello? <laughs> yeah, she here. Who's that? Hey, Mama. No, it's nobody but Maybelline over here getting on my nerves. No, I'm not watching TV. Some of us do have to work, you know. I don't care what that newsman said. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. They can't fire me. No, it's gonna take board food for anybody to get rid of me. I'm not going anywhere. Didn't I tell you to get those reports yes. done? Uh, well, get them uh, done. Yes, ma'am. Not you, mama. And those detention lists, uh, um, today will be a good time to have uh, those. Uh, and why are there kids still in the hallway? Didn't the bell ring 20 minutes ago? Handle that. Yes. Mama, you still taking your pills? Come on, mama. You know we gotta get your pressure down. Don't you? Put your arms down. You ain't cute. That's your problem. Too cute for your own good. Well, that's all right. We can fix that. Yeah, we can fix that. Want your hair did? You can't be cute without your Stop. hair. Oh, she tender headed. Nah, she ain't tender headed. Just picky. Just can't have anybody doing her hair. But that's all right. We understand. Yeah, we understand. Yeah. Do it yourself. Yeah, do it. You heard me. I said, do it. You heard what she said, now do it. I'm gonna knock the hell out of you. 
Just do it. The classic form of composition is determined by a sentence structure. Now, who can tell me the difference between a... Oh my God. Dang, what happened to you? That's not funny. So what are we dealing with, ma'am? Is she gonna be okay? I don't know, with you. Ma'am, I understand you're upset, but let us do our job. Just answer the questions, ma'am, please. Well, all I know is this child asked to go to the bathroom, and when she returned, she came back with this. Wow. Jesus. You see this? Looks like chemical burns. Hi, right, sweetie, touch your head this way for me. How could anybody be so cruel? I don't understand this. They're just children. I hate to say this, ma'am, but this is very typical nowadays. I mean, 60 to 80% of children are being bullied. You should be just name calling and teasing, but now we're dealing with this and it's increasing every year. Okay, baby, you can sit back now. Well, why doesn't somebody do something about it? We can't just sit back and do nothing. Nobody's sitting back doing nothing. I have been all over this administration and the faculty because I don't tolerate bullying in my building. And Miss Richardson, if I find out that you didn't do everything you could to protect her. Are you threatening me? Uh-uh, that's a promise. You're threatening me. Well, I'm sure the union would like to hear about ladies. you. Ladies, ladies, now is not the time. Lily, can you tell us who did this to you? Lily, we're here to help you, but we can't do anything unless you tell us exactly what happened. You think you can do that for us? It's okay, baby. I'm right here, go right ahead. We were in the bathroom. There were two of them. Others were around, but there were two of them that did it. Two, huh? Cowards. Ooh, I can't wait to get my hands on my I need some names. This child is scared to death. You cannot expect her to snitch. Snitch? Please don't bore me with that nonsense. Lily Mae Johnson, you speak up and you give me some names. You leave her alone. Ladies, I am not going to say this again. Either back down and let us do our job, or you're going to get thrown out of here. Carlos. I got you. Lily, continue on, you were saying? After I cut my hair, they said that wasn't good enough. So they drug me to the toilet. The one girl held me down until I couldn't breathe anymore. And then, they poured a train over my head. Lily? Lily? Lily, it's okay, baby. It's okay. <laughs> glad you could join us. Cora, what in the hell is going on around here? And listen, fall back before you give me your little nasty attitude. I'm not in the mood today. Now, what is going on, Cora? OK, OK. We had an incident in school today, and fortunately, nobody was hurt. But then again, I'm sure you know that. Otherwise, you wouldn't have come down here off your mountaintop. Watch it, Cora. Apologies for not announcing the superintendent, ma'am. No worries, May. We're all family here. Right, Mr. Superintendent? Or may I call you Rudy? <laughs> you already did. Look, Ms. Washington, this bullying business has got to stop. The school board is coming down on us, this building particularly. Cora, need I remind you, just last week a child committed suicide. Yep, got a funeral on my calendar right there. See? Oh, you, you, you cold, Cora. That's, that's heartless. And I expected so much more from you. 
I can't tell the way you're trying to get me fired. Get you fired? What are you talking about, get you fired? Whatever gave you that impression? Um, I don't know what you say at the school board meetings, the stuff you say in the press. Look, I do what I need to do to protect the district. Yeah, yeah, the district, the district, the district. That's all you ever talk about. You got your statistics, you got your reports, but at the end of the day, who the hell is here to protect the kids, Rudy? I am, you're looking at them, Rudy. I'm here to protect the kids. And I made a vow not another single solitary child will be bullied or commit suicide while on my watch. And if I have to, I'll fire every dog on principle there is. You hear yourself? Who's the bully now, Rudy? Who, who the hell is this? Hey, how do you do? Lloyd Carrington, Miss Washington's attorney. Attorney? You have anything else to say before he prepares his brief? <sighs> See you in court. Maybelline. Yes? Give me a meeting with Mrs. Claire Johnson. Her daughter was involved in some kind of incident today, and now she's talking about pulling her out of school. Okay. Oh, and hold my calls, especially my mom's. I'm going over this funeral parlor to pay my respects. Oh, and make sure you call me the minute those thugs are caught, the ones that brutalized that little girl. I got something for them. Uh-oh. I mean, yes, ma'am. Get it done, Maybelline. I am not in the mood. Okay. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking for Celia Greer. She was a student at Medgar Evers. Ah, uh, yes, the suicide. Parlor number four. This way. This is kind of a dreadful way to put that, don't you think? No more dreadful than the manner of death. Bullying, I believe. Look, now that hasn't been substantiated yet. I mean, the child had issues just like the other kids at school, and whether that led to her hanging, that's still up for debate. Be that as it may, here she lies. Dear God, she looks so young. We do our best. May I have a moment? Certainly, Mrs. Washington. You know me? From the news, ma'am. Okay, well, thanks. Madam. Her mother sent that dress all the way from St. Louis. Excuse me? She took the time to pick it out, mail it off, and everything. No time to come to a daughter's funeral, though. We're separated. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Me and Celia was better off without her. Of course, it don't seem so now, does it? Cora Washington, principal at your daughter's school. I know who you are. I watch the news, too. I seen you all over that TV making excuses, ducking blame. Of course, all those fancy words might have meant a spike more, had you said them in person. But you was too busy to meet with me. Mr. Greer. I tried to tell you they was bullying my baby girl. Bullying her. I called that school every single day. All you had to do was pick up the phone, and I could have told you about the teasing, and the beatings, and the scars. She never complained. Not even a little. Never whispered a word. Mr. Greer, bullying is a complex issue, but I can assure you that there are professionals working every day to eradicate it. Eradicate? That show is a fancy word, Miss Washington. Tell it to my daughter. Mr. Greer, wait. Let me talk to you for a second. Mr. Greer. Hello? Mama, this is not a good time. I gotta go. Mr. Greer. Damn it, Mama. I said I got... 
Oh, May. What's up? Are you serious? I'll be right there. So it says here you went out of your way to exclude Lily from all your little social activities. And somebody went so far as to write her name on the bathroom wall and her phone number. Let's see, there's more. Blocked her from entering class, boarding the bus, threw her phone in the toilet, pulled her chair from underneath her, cut in front of her in line, shoved her out of line. Is there anybody in here who knows what the word ostracize means? Can't use it in a sentence. <laughs> this is not funny. How would you like if somebody did that to you? <laughs> poured a little acid on your head, maybe rubbed it in a little bit, and then dunked your head in the toilet? Stop laughing! I'm sorry, Miss Washington. It's just the way you said it. Oh, what did you say, Yolanda? Says here you call Lily a whore. Really? <laughs> but she is, Miss Washington. I mean, what you call it when somebody sleep with everybody? Ho. Huh? Look. <laughs> I'm just saying. And you, why are you around here spreading all these rumors about this girl anyway? Ain't a rumor, Miss Washington. It's real. <laughs> I beg your pardon? How else you want me to put it? Lily get with any dude that asks for it. I mean, hell, she got with me just because of locks. <laughs> Shut up! Ooh, you kids make me sick. You brutalized this girl, damn near scar her for life, and then you got the nerve to sit here and gloat about it? Don't any of you have any kind of feelings? I'm so sorry, Miss Washington. <laughs> Get out, Martell. Ma'am? You heard me. Get the hell out of my office. Until you learn how to act like a gentleman or at least less like a thug, get the hell out of my office. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, bounce. <laughs> and if you two are through laughing, you can call your parents and let them know the police will be picking you up. What? But why? Uh, for the assault of Lily Mae Johnson. And God is my witness. I'm gonna make sure they prosecute both of you to the fullest extent of the law. Hmm, you are looking at about 10 years. Uh-uh, I'm calling my daddy, this some bull. You know the rules, no cell phones in school. Find a landline. Oh no, she did. Oh yes, she did. And you better be glad that's all she did. Look, you kids may not have any self-respect, but you will respect me. Make no mistake about that. Maybelline! If mama calls, I'm gone for the day. What about your meeting with Mrs. Johnson? Headed there now. Okay. Anything else? Oh, and the detectives will be back here in a minute to pick up those girls. I told you I was gonna catch them. That's what I'm talking about. Thought Maybelline was kidding when she told me you wanted to meet me up here. Quite a view, huh? I found my daughter up here several weeks ago. She said she was just playing around, but I never believed it. I thought maybe, maybe that little girl was thinking of taking her own life. See, Lily May's been complaining for some time now about all the bullying going on at school. I wasn't worried about it. I just figured it was a bunch of kids being kids, you know? I told her to stand up to it. Then I get a call at work this morning to tell me to rush on down to the school because something happened to my daughter. Look, Miss Johnson, I'm really sorry for what happened to your daughter. I get it. That type of behavior is unacceptable at this school. And going forward, Lily will be protected. You have my word on that. I love my daughter, Mrs. Washington, and you come all the way up here to beg me to send her back to that school. Look, you probably do care about her. You might even like her more than you like some of the other kids. But you wouldn't be on this rooftop if your job didn't depend on it. The super has it out for me. I don't deny that. But at least before I climbed all the way up here, I made sure those girls got arrested. <laughs> Does that make you feel better? It doesn't do anything for me. And it does even less for Lily Mae. Look, it's bad enough that she gets teased for having a white foster mom. Her name doesn't make it any better. My baby hates her name. She probably hates herself, too. We're gonna work on that one together, because there is no way that my little girl is gonna end up like that other child that took her own life. No offense. None taken.
Karen Floyd? Yes. Can I talk to you for a second? It's late. I know, I'm sorry, but I really need to talk to you. It's important. No, it's been ages. You probably don't even remember me, huh? Yeah. When we were in school, what those kids did to you, what we did to you, I'm sorry. You get the hell out of here! Karen, I just want you to understand that we didn't mean it. I'm sorry. If you could just listen to... Hello, Mama. It's Cora May. No, nothing's wrong. I'm coming home. <laughs>